Hello everybody. This is my 7-pin round to 5-pin flat trailer hitch adapter and as you can see here right here my ground pin is missing. And I went to hook up the other day and no brake lights, no tail lights, no markers, no side markers. So it turns out this little pin here is completely broken off. I'm going to try to salvage this adapter. But let me show you what I'm going to do. So if you don't have your broken terminal, I have a couple of ideas or suggestions you might want to consider. One would just be to use a piece of solid copper wire. The pin appears to have a diameter of around 0 0.180 or 0.185 and another solution would be to buy one of these yellow bullet connectors they're very inexpensive if you can find just one or two at your local hardware store or automotive parts store and strip off the yellow insulation and you can see that that bullet connector is it has a diameter of 0.195 and should fit nicely. I think the the blue ones and the red ones are too small. You can see the blue one here and I think the red ones also have a diameter of about 0.157. The other thing is that the female side of this is a split barrel. So I think the split allows you to have a slightly larger diameter so the barrel can expand. So my belief is that this 0.195 yellow bullet connector terminal with the insulation cut off of it will work quite nicely. You're going to get sort of one chance at this. There are four screws that hold this together. I've already removed two of them, one here and one here where my index finger and where my thumb are. And then there's one here and one inside here. And obviously if yours is pretty old you're going to see quite a bit of corrosion on it so make sure you have a sharp Phillips head screwdriver of the right size. I forget whether it's a one or a two. And you sort of uh, don't want to damage the heads because once you damage the heads, you're never going to get this out. So while you move the four screws, you open it up and this is what you get. So there are a couple ways you could salvage this. Obviously, you could get a five pin flat and re-solder it in and hope that all this mess fits in your housing. What I'm going to do is split this where the white lead is and I'm going to drop in a whole new what they call a bullet connector into there where the pin looks very similar to that pin. I'll show you that in just a moment. Well this is the original broken terminal and it looks like the terminal is hollow and what we see here on the end is just the metal folded over so I'm going to there's a slit right there I'm going to take a pick and Try to push it through without deforming it. Here you can see I've got the terminal open. It's really simple. I just pushed in on the other end with an ice pick and use my new nose pliers to open it up the rest of the way. I had the terminal soldered onto my copper wire. Used a piece of sandpaper on the inside of the barrel. Get it all cleaned up. Fluck the copper rod. Put some heat on it. Float some solder in and it's a really nice connection. This is never going to break again. I actually found the barrel sitting in the plug of my trailer harness. I was trying to hook up my boat trailer to my car and that's when I realized that I didn't have a, a ground and I went to my utility trailer and sure enough this pin was sitting inside the female connector of the trailer harness. So that's how I salvaged the terminal. I decided to drill this out and it was a little difficult getting it centered but I decided to drill it out rather than cut it and then I moved the white wire that was here and I opened up these crimps right here. And so now I'm going to put this in and we'll see how it comes out. Well here's the finished product. I got a piece of shrink tubing on it. One word of caution, I put so much heat on this connection that it caused this rubber to flow. That allowed me to get things centered up again but I will warn you just watch the heat there that rubber melts pretty fast on this end even though I was soldering on this end so that's how you repair the ground terminal I think this is going to work out great one of the things I will point out I decided to use a piece of solid copper 
because I wanted some stiffness to this pin. I didn't want this pin to be able to push back in easily. And so using the solid copper rather than uh, just attaching that white lead back to the, to the heavy copper wire, uh, that's why I eliminated that flexible lead wire. Uh, and the other tip is make sure when you assemble this, you see there's a little notch here on this. That notch has to mate with this notch. If you don't have that right, then when you plug this in, uh, all your connections are going to be in the wrong position. How about a thumbs up if you found this enjoyable or uh, helpful or even entertaining? Thanks for watching.